and Jane Mix exclusive. What, you gotta know everything? Yeah, she's a journalist. Too bad. You're only gonna know what I give you. You have problems in relationships with this control issue? Not lately. Not lately? Well, you're not in one. No, I'm in one. And? It's fine, thanks. It's going good? And you? What about your relationship? Oh, that was good. Good transition. Like, I <laughs> fell for that. <laughs> She's really good. And how long have you been doing this? Long enough. Uh, long enough. Mm, evasive answer. You're good. You? I'm going to learn from you. How long have you been doing this? 20 years. Anyway. Okay. okay. Get back on track here. <laughs> Do a television series, do an animated Blues Brothers series. Got a movie called Jingle All the Way coming out with Arnold Schwarzenegger, where I play uh, Santa Claus. Very funny, coming out in November here. Did another movie for this company called Retroactive, which is kind of a sci fi uh, action movie. Very funny, very funny role. Very serious, funny, crazy action. Uh, unusual piece, I really like it. I did a little thing with Rob Lowe called uh, The Peril of Walter Wood. I did a little part in a movie called uh, Golden Streets, uh, Noel Pearson produced. I went to Ireland and shot it. And um, doing this. I'm in the Blues Brothers animation and a TV series. How does it feel to be The King? How does it feel to be the King? It feels great. We just opened up at the uh, Atlanta House of Blues. So don't push me because I'm close to the edge. I'm just trying to get some head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I told you I was dancing out here. Watch this one. Control freak. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Sure. no. I do. Tupac Shakur. Tupac Shakur. I'm letting you. Tupac, I do. How are you? I'm Jessica. She's from Orion. Okay. okay. Oh, we don't stand up because she's from the, the oh, film place. Oh. Oh. Not just hey, chill. <laughs> All righty then. So, what's it, what's it been like working with Jim? One day, you guys are going to come out with an original question. <laughs> it's not going to be today. Is that the first, second, or third yeah, answer? That's the first one. <laughs> there has to be a deeper question than what is it like working with Jim. It's great. It's great, but I could never tell you what it's like. I mean, yeah. it's like when you ask people those questions, as it relates to what? What if this? What if you have no friends? You know, you not you don't know what it's like. What if you don't? You know what I mean? What if you've never done a movie, so you don't know how shitty your co-star could be, so you don't know how nice it is to work with somebody who gives a fuck? Wait, but I can answer that. I know how shitty it can be. <laughs> and let me tell you, in comparison, he's great. In comparison I'm, to... To, well, I'm not going to see you with names. All you want is names. Now, you work for Gossip Column, or are you a journalist? I'm a journalist. Okay. Names, names. He wants names. I feel like I'm in jail, and you know, i got to turn in my friends. It's great. It's not like... You still want your more it's, it's not like um, it's like a regular friend, like a regular friend. Not sounding corny, like we're so close friends, but it's not like a regular relationship in the movies where it's based on the the movie. It's based on really like I have a job to do, you have a job to do. What can I do to make your job better? And what can I do to make your job better? I never had a co-star that really gave a fuck. What did it take to get me to do my job? And that's all I ever wanted. As long as you can take away these small things that you might be able to handle that I can't handle. But there are major things that I can handle that some people can't handle. I'll take care of the major things. You handle these little things that I just, I got like pet peeves that I can't get through a movie without. So he's been able to like erase those hurdles. So it makes it easier. And that's a first. So now when I go to another set, I can go, here's Jim's number, call him, find out what you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and for me, what he does is, in the scene, he's so, Tupac is so present and so alive with, uh, with energy and music that it's like a joy. It's just that you don't know, it just makes, it's like eating a great pasta. It's just, kinda, <laughs> it's just a joy. But he is a liar. Oh, yes. He, he lies the whole time. I'm tired, I'm on empty, I got nothing left camera guy goes action and he's like 
You know the guy Tim Robbins on TV that's like boosting you up to make money and he's like one of those confidence guys like on TV, late cable. That's this guy. It's this guy. I got a shovel in my throat. We've been doing this for 13 hours. I'm totally tired. He'll tell you a dirty joke that'll just bring energy to the scene. You know, that's what that's what I'm He's not a, he's not like, um, you would, it's not like he does like acting tricks to get you ready. He just does normal people things. Like, you know, in the middle of the night, he's telling you dirty jokes that you only hear in college. You know oh, what I, I mean? Like, one, by the way. <laughs> not now. Okay. Not, I heard last night. Not in front of them. Come on. Don't do it. No, I can't do it. You don't want to be known bad. in, yeah, right, right. come on. Around the world. In Russia is the yeah, right. dirty old American <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm dirty, already going to be known the for the out of shape man. <laughs> Today, here's the skinny guy. He's doing the driving chasing. I'm running down the street chasing the bad guy. You got to get that, you know. We got to do a scene in there about that. <laughs> about, hey, man, I'm tired of chasing him. these fucking guys. I have a stupid question that I have to ask. Well, at least he said it was stupid. Yeah, so, you know, I give him credit. Okay. When you, when so we can go to the second answer. Yeah. <laughs> when New Year's, which is the decision you're gonna, a new decision you're going to make in New Year's about fitness and, and health for yourself. What's that? How are you going to change your life? Resolution. Bread is dead. Bread is dead. More pasta, and I'm gonna start doing like 300 push-ups a day. Starting January 1st. How many do you do now? I could do 300 a day, like one day, but then the next day I'm not interested in doing another 300. I feel like, well, that's good for three days. You know what I mean? I had to get into the habit of just doing this. I really want to push for the next generation of actors, people, rappers, entertainers, whatever. We need to be more physically fit, not slim, not. Um, Buff, just physically fit. Whatever you have, exercise it so that you can use it. Well, we're, and also we're both, you know, we're real conscious that way because our instrument is our body. Us, yeah. And you have to take care of your body. And you can't use You, you could be fit and look and, and act tired, but you can't be tired and act fit. Smoking? What like about I it? said, that I'm not on the kick like let's be skinny, let's be fit. Right now I can outrun everybody at this table. For 50 yards. Yeah. <laughs> now, marathon, no, we, I never knew what the hell they were doing in a marathon anyway. <laughs> that thing in the Olympics where they go a gang of times around. Hey, what the hell is that for? These guys are short hey, Get out of here. I'm going to run 50. It's a, it's a cop every 50 yards. Yeah, Come that's on. all. It's, I only do 50 yards <laughs> to catch a guy, right? Sprints. What do you get out of acting that you don't get out of music? Orgasms. Nah, um, I get... I thought the musicians got laid much more than they do. They, yeah, they do. Really do. They really do. But I get another sense of, uh, it's just like asking a woman, what do you get out of motherhood that you don't get out of your career? You know what I mean? It's another satisfaction. It's a whole other joy. It's similar because it's both creative, but it's fun. Yeah, it was you like do the, the same other night. thing. Yeah, like, like, the other night. Thing. like the other night, man. When, oh, yeah, that's true. Because I got a band. So we the same. So thing. I'm 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 catching. Uh, one night catching he's at the House of Blues. In the morning he's back on the set. You know, one night I'm doing a video. In the morning we're on the set. Yeah, we we, we happen to be very fortunate people. We're rock and roll stars. Yeah. We're rock and roll stars. We're and actors. actors. How do you prevent the fame to go to your head? How do I prevent it? I don't. To be perfectly honest, I don't. I let I'm it go. I'm very conceited. But but how the world prevents it is by putting me in jail for a crime I didn't commit last year. That kind of humbles you out. But now that I'm out and I'm free, it keeps me humble. It keeps my feet on the ground. What's the greatest misconception about you? Um, there's so many. I'd have to hear the misconception and then I'll break it down. There's a lot though. But that I'm one-sided. That's the biggest one I would think. Is that I'm one-sided. All of us as human beings have a dominant and uh, and a quiet side. You know what I mean? I happen to be a Gemini. You uh, too? Yeah. Yeah. Gemini and, you know what I mean, I'm young and I'm black and I'm from the hood. So it's just you got all these different facets. But I'm an artist. You know what I mean? And I'm hungry for knowledge. So there's no pigeonhole for them to put me in. So they rather just make it look like I'm crazy. That's the biggest misconception. Where do you live now? Um, like what country or what state? What, what's the street? Oh, at Los Angeles. Got a big house in Los Angeles. The name Black. Why? You said your real name or your That's name? my real name. There's nothing artificial about me. Um, there's a, a gentleman by the name of Tupac Amaro 
He was a freedom fighter, a warrior, similar to myself, <laughs> a chief, a leader, and he was, uh, for his people, he's, the, the, the British told him, you know, give in, throw your guns down, throw your stuff down. He threw everything down. He went to talk to negotiate for peace because the Peruvians was beating their ass. So he went to negotiate for peace. He walks into the palace. They cut off his head, cut off his arms, cut off his legs, tie him to a stake, and put him in front of his people like, see? So that always taught me about giving up. People ask me what my name means. I don't tell them like Tupac Amar, but I just say it means determined because I'm determined to never ever negotiate again. We are in the midst of war. Nobody wants me to live longer than, nobody's gonna give me the breath out of their mouth for me to live longer. So therefore, I'm not giving anybody the breath out of my mouth for them to live longer. I'll just breathe deeply and go through this life myself without bothering anybody, without pushing anybody else over. But on the same token, nobody ever will move me from where I'm standing. I like that, man. You like that? That was good, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You got to come up with one so they can like, right. mix it and have it down the line. And Belushi's about eating. <laughs> uh, we had restaurants. Uh, cafes. Cafes. And cheeseburger, cheeseburger places. You know, <laughs> cheeseburger, it was about getting off of work before 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Driving home late. And the big danger was and sitting in that diner. Remember you told me this story? Sitting in that diner. That was a good one. <laughs> Guys. Manuel, you missed it. Oh, you missed everything. Oh, you missed. Oh, we just finished telling the whole, the meaning of life, everything. You missed it. So you were getting drunk eating bread somewhere. What's your biggest myth about fame? About fame? That all actors want to be famous. People go, well, you're an actor. You're supposed to want this. And like, when people come up to you and tear all your clothes off. Quit complaining. You're an actor. You're supposed to want this. You're famous. No, our job is, you gave me this jewel. Our job is to only, I've mixed it up a little bit, but our job is to only come to work, give you the best job we can give you, and then move away from the picture. We're not supposed to suck your dick while you watch the movie or put my finger in your ass while you're watching the movie or play yeah, my record and I'm finger, you know, it's only you buy the yeah. shit and that's it. On the it. back of the CD or on the back of a ticket in a movie theater, it does, it it explains what the contract is with the public. And the contract is you give your best in your performance. You don't owe them any anything else. Oh, but of course. You'll never see me in any more movies where I'm not directly involved with the soundtrack. I looked up power in the dictionary and I'm trying to be down with that one. Just like we need to have the premiere at the House of Blues. We will. We gotta have a big oh, absolutely. party at the House of Blues when we do our big debut. Yeah, hey, we yeah, do we do our debut on that other stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Fly me to the moon. Touch me. Fly me out. to the we moon. We gotta get it. I will sing upon the stars. And how do you feel about having him more a veteran in the rap? Do you learn something from him? Every day. That's the good part. I done. I done a movie with. A lot of guys my age, just recently I did a movie with Tim Roth, I learned a lot of things about the craft and about acting, about responsibility. Doing this movie with Jim, I learned a lot of things about life, like in general, like fatherhood and he, he like comes with facts about like little things from nowhere, like oh in 1965 this guy did a great song, and they'll tell me that, you know what I mean, and I, I gotta go out and get the song now, and yeah. find out who sung it, and, and then we steal it, and then we steal it, <laughs> and the next day it's the song, you know, and Moving into high, high burglary we scene. totally like were separate spectrums, but similar, you know what I mean, both of us are down to earth, known for being down to earth. You know what I mean? Um, artist, you know, an artist. Yeah, we, we bring we bring a freshness to it out there. Yeah. We love the street. I mean, I love the street. I love being on the street. Yeah, and how is the shit in downtown? Like this deep, kind of more independent life. Well, coming from uh, you know driving in limousines and going to premieres and helicoptering to uh, resorts. And, uh, <laughs> You know, all the, the girls and, you know, all the fun we have. It's just a little step down being downtown L.A., but it's part of the craft. And we'll make that sacrifice. Yeah, sacrifice. Yeah, you got to make a sacrifice. Do you think your audience will change because, I mean, movie audience, or are they the same people that will change? I think that um, unless every kid in the world bought my album, my five million, six million sales represent that it's not just kids that are my audience. It's not just little black kids in the ghetto or suburban white kids that want to be black. It's America. And 
I could step outside and you'll see America know me, not just American kids, it's all of America. Right, no doubt. Oh, I love seeing this stuff. Y'all can need to hook up a concert for me. It's, you know, I could come out there. You don't even have to pay me to do a show. No, but I mean, I've been in Sweden a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, you know, <laughs> I don't uh, want to take this. I had a taste of Sweden once, but <laughs> yeah. I was in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was a guy. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> but the sweetest. Oh, I did. You, you, I like it out there. Golf, longer. Love it. Have you been to Australia? No, I want to go there too. That's nice. I want to go there too. Any plans to tour? Um, I plan it as soon as they offer the money. I'll be out there. Oh, Sweden, you got for free. Yeah, Sweden, you got action. I'm free. <laughs> Brazil. Just, yeah. In Brazil, you know you got action there. Whoa. I just do a promo tour out there. Me and Jim just boost up the movie out there. You know what I mean? You pay for the hotels. We're there. Give me action at the bar. We're there. We're in there. <laughs> you know how big this movie can be in Sweden? <laughs> All right. Two more so questions, far. guys. The most challenging? So far. Uh, every day, getting the getting specific, to this spot. Scene that was really no, it's not like that. It's every single day we have to get to these intense spots that we left the day before. Because this whole movie is intense. So it's not like you can walk away, have your regular life, and come back to that same intensity. That, to me, is the hardest part is to find the yeah. hell we left off last night. Yeah, we have to go to some really deep places, you know, some really hard places emotionally. And it's hard to let go of it, you know? Yeah, it is. For example, Well, there's betrayal going on here, there's murder going deceit, on here, there's deceit. Lies, you know, con and, games yeah. that you take home with you. Yeah. I do. Does that oblige you to face your own darkness? What's that? Does that oblige you in a way to face your own self? Well, it's, I don't think it's facing it as much as, for me, it's... it's it's going to it. I mean, everybody, you got to yeah. go to your deceit. And it's something that you really don't want to do. You've kind of worked on that. And now I'm like, I'm a very honest man. I'm very straightforward. It's taken me years to get rid of the, the bullshit I believe about myself. And then when you play a character who believes his own bullshit, who's deceitful and lies to himself about being deceitful, you got to go to that place in you. So you got to bring it out again. And so you don't want to, you don't want it to stay there too long. You want to put it back, you know. But make no mistake, the darkness dwells within every man and no one knows how to reach it any faster than the next man. Some of us just are comfortable being honest about saying this is my dark yep. side. And the other ones of us put on masks or white sheets or suits or uniforms and exhibit their darkness behind closed doors. Yeah. Well, and what we do is we go to it. Yeah. And we go to it here. <laughs> yeah, and show it to you. But it's fun because you don't do it alone. You know, he's going there, I'm going there. Like, yeah, okay, we're both so looking at each other like, hey, you're okay. pretty dark. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Pretty dark in here. Yeah, 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 dark in here. But, uh, but we, we, we keep, a, even the theme of the movie, you know, we keep a sense of humor about Gotta it. Gotta keep a sense of humor. One more question. Is there anything about your experience in jail that you can turn into a positive, as in, will that inspire you when you oh, it? Great question. Yes. In jail, I was faced with, faith. I was faced with doing bankruptcy. I was just about to do it. A friend of mine said, don't do it. You'll mess up your credit. Go to the bottom. Don't be scared to go all the way to the bottom. Don't get pumped. Fight it out. I fought it out, came out, contract in shambles, everything in shambles. Virtually no movie career. Nobody would touch me with a 50-foot pole. In the rap world, I mean, you could a, 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 a rape charge or any, any of that bullshit will destroy you. You know what I mean? Me knowing that I didn't do it, I kept my faith. I didn't blow my brains out with a shotgun and dropped out, can nothing touch me. I feel like God himself got his hands on me. So six million, the only people that sold more records than me with a double album is the Beatles. And you know, they, I, I don't want to sell more records than the Beatles, you know what I mean? Then I want to kill myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I had the most expensive art, the, the most expensive album on the chart this year, but I sold more albums than anybody. Nobody could beat me at that. My shit cost a it's this million dollar, dream that I'm gonna push, you know what I mean? It's everything, it's not stopping. Nothing can touch me out here now. And I've once been you shot. hit that bottom, yeah. you're free. Where can you go? You're free. 
You've been, been shot, shot you go to jail. What could touch me? What can they what actor can give you more truth than me right now? That's how I feel. So that's the positive. We really appreciate you coming to lunch. Yeah. Very kind of you to come and visit us. Try not to eat all the food. Don't drink all the stuff, okay? I'm checking all bags before you leave. I don't know how many of these is here. Everybody take their own tape recorder home. Nice to meet you. Take care of yourself.